Prime Minister dialogues with private economic corporations. Da Nang scientific research programs approved. Full Moon Night Festival. Hello, welcome back to DRT News. In order to listen to the obstacles and challenges to improve the government's policies on the development of the private economic sector, Prime Minister Nguyễn Xuân Phúc had a policy seminar dialogue themed Government Together with Private Corporations Towards Economic Development. At the seminar, emphasizing the question of what the state should do to boost the private economic sector, Prime Minister Nguyễn Xuân Phúc would like to listen to ideas in a straightforward and honest manner for the sake of the country. Contributions during the seminar would help the government formulate and enhance policies and orientations, as well as remove the existing obstacles and challenges. This could be seen as a realistic activity to effectively implement the Central Resolutions No. 5, creating the best legal business environment to provide direction for the private business's development and aiming at supporting the expansion of the private sector to contribute more effectively in the national GDP. The Da Nang People's Committee has just issued a decision on approving the scientific research programs in the city for the period of 2017-2025. Under the approved decision, Da Nang will implement the research program on the application and development of biotechnology. The scientific research for the program are developing the key technical and economic sectors of the city, such as mechanics, automation, electronics, telecommunications and information technology, manufacturing technology, and new material application. In addition, there are two scientific research programs on building environmentally friendly city and preventing natural disasters along with the medicine research program for public health care. It is forecast that in the coming time there will be many individuals, enterprises and organizations proposing and ordering to conduct the scientific research in associated with the objectives and contents of each above mentioned program. The Da Nang Border Guard High Command has just held an inauguration ceremony to put the northern border security post located at the Sun Cha mountainous area in Thok Quang Hoa Sun Cha district into operation. The northern border guard post is remarked to be strategically located for military and defense purposes. Especially, this area is also a nature reserve with many rare animal species and a route running around Sun Chia Peninsula, combining tourism with national defense and security. Every year, there are hundreds of thousands of domestic and international visitors coming to the area for leisure and relaxation. Therefore, the construction and operation of the Northern Border Guard Post have special meaning to the maintenance of social order and safety on Sun Chia Peninsula. The total construction cost is nearly $3.6 billion. The City Department of Education and Training and the Study Encouragement Association co-organized an award ceremony for students overcoming difficulties to have good academic results in the 2016-2017 school year. 170 poor studio students in the city received the awards granted by the association. Each student received an award worth $1 million, which were mobilized by the Study Encouragement Association and sponsored by the Da Nang Central Investment Choice Stock Company. They were also received $500,000 in cash on the occasion of the Mid-Autumn Festival given by Chairman of the City People's Committee. The City Study Encouragement Association also granted five scholarships worth $5 million each to five disadvantaged students who passed the City University entrance exam. These gifts are the motivation for students to continue overcoming difficulties in life and striving to study well, while contributing to the study encouragement movement of the city. 
On September the 30th evening, the Department of Labor, Invalids and Social Affairs, in collaboration with the City Youth Union and the Da Nang City's Association of Charities and Children's Right Protection, held the Full Moon Night Festival program, which attracted a large number of children in the city. Coming to the Full Moon Night Festival, children were given exciting dancing and singing performances by children from the city's Children Cultural House. In addition, they had chance to participate in many games with magic shows, meet autumn plays and enjoy the lion and dragon dances. On this occasion, the organizing board granted more than 1,000 sets of gifts and scholarships to students with good study results and those live in special difficult circumstances. Through the Full Moon Night Festival, the organizers hope to bring joy and laughter to children on a special day of childhood, at the same time encouraging them to always be good children at home and good students at school. According to the General Department of Vietnam Customs, in the first nine months of this year, the total import and export value is estimated at 308.51 billion US dollars. Particularly, the total export value increased by 19.8%. Specifically, the total import and export value increased by 21.4% over the same period of 2016. Particularly in September 2017, the total export value is estimated at 19 billion US dollars, down by 3.9%. The trade balance in September 2017 is estimated to reach a surplus of 400 million US dollars. The goods groups that experienced good export activities included the group of phones and accessories valued at 4.3 billion US dollars, followed by the textiles and seafood sector. On the occasion of the Ancestors' Death Anniversary of Vietnam Theatrical Art, the Da Nang Theatrical Artists Association held a ceremony to celebrate this day. At the ceremony, the local artists revealed their memories during their career, reported the results, which were made in the past year, as well as performed the theoretical excerpts. Reportedly, being founded since 2001, the Municipal Theoretical Artists Association has become a home for professional and non-professional theater performers to meet, exchange, and share experience in their profession. From 2010 up to now, the association has organized five training classes for performing and singing by joy art for 300 trainees, many of whom became leaders in cultural and artistic movements at grassroots levels and were able to stage many skits, short plays and long plays to serve audiences. On September 30th, the Da Nang Youth Union held the Making Lanterns for Love Connection Festival on the occasion of Mid-Autumn Festival 2017. The festival attracted the participation of 500 pupils from 156 schools in Da Nang City. At the festival, children will make various kinds of traditional lanterns. The festival contributed to creating a useful and healthy playground for children around the city on the occasion of the Mid-Autumn Festival. On this occasion, the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union of Da Nang City, the City Women's Union and the Da Nang Association of Charities and Children's Rights Protection arrived at the consensus on the cooperation program in the work of protecting, educating and caring of children and exercising the children's rights and duties in the period of 2017-2022. Also on this occasion, 100 gifts were presented to the disadvantaged pupils in the locality. That's all for today's news. Please log on to drt.danang.vn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for tuning in and goodbye for now.